Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rebel. And yeah, this is a little different, I know. I am actually recording off of my phone screen because I have been asked before, actually a lot, as to where I get my retro dresses, my vintage dresses, my pinup dresses, my rockabilly dresses, whatever you want to call it. So I thought we would sit here and I would show you different websites and talk you a little bit through the style and everything. And what I want to start off with is Unique Vintage. This is a website that, um, well, it's basically everything vintage. They do, as you can see, have a plus size section. So, a lot of these clothes are, um, like I said, very vintage, very retro looking. And, um, as you can see, very pricey too. So, I, some of my stuff, like the dress that I wore for my, um, rehitching, my Val Renewal, basically. <laughs> I got from Unique Vintage, but I waited until it was, it was in a clearance. So, you can kind of see the different styles. Like, for instance, this is a romper. Rompers were very popular back in the 50s and 40s. This is a... Pits, or, or the, sorry, this is a, um, I don't wear these, um, a wiggle dress. There we go. This is kind of a style of a wiggle dress. Uh, this is your typical swing dress style. This is two. Anything off of the shoulder, like this one and this one. Anything with that, um, the heart shape. Neckline. Ooh, I really like that one. <laughs> My eye instantly went to that one. So it has a combination of everything. You got your swing dress. You got your heart-shaped neckline. So. But if you want to know, you know, like certain styles of vintage, I would go to this site and look. Like we even have... Um, swimwear vintage styled swim swimwear we even have these um kind of pant jumpers uh rompers skirts there's some more shirts that are off the shoulder so yeah unique vintage is a, a really nice place to go like i said you could go to the sale plus size so we'll look at the plus size sale stuff. Cardigans. Cardigans are really a staple. The ruffle tops, like this one. I love those. I love wearing those. Those are really nice to have. The prices are... Oh, I like that dress there too. Let's look at that dress, by the way. Has a very cute, very cute little neckline with those sleeves. Or, well, they're not really sleeves, but. So, as you can see, they come from uh, anywhere from a 1X to a 5X. Um, I'm trying to see. Where is the. Well, I can't find the size chart. Oh, there's the sizing. There we go. So, it does give you a size chart. You take that off. Um. So I'm typically at 3 to 4X. So, you know, it gives me my measurements and everything. So definitely, when you're looking at this stuff, always look at the measurements first. And another good, um, oh, that's a cute, cute swimwear right here. But, um, look at measurements. And also, too, if you're a heavier gal like me, make sure you get something that is, um, a stretch material that it's something that has a little bit of elastic or something that's going to have some stretch trust me you will appreciate that in the long run so we're going to go to another website i like going to but they are kind of pricey which is mod cloth but mod cloth um does a lot anything from like the the 20s up to the 70s um they have a lot of different styles for that whatever feel you're what to go for kind of thing. 
So let's go into plus size. But as you can see up at the top it says 40% off sale items. So you can even get additional 40% off of stuff. Yeah, see very 60s, 70s, some 40s kind of thrown in. So like I said, this one has a wide range. There's some 70s looking stuff. Um, of things you can buy from Mod Cloth. But like I said, they're they're kind of pricey too unless you go look at um, through their sale items. And then you wait till they have those like extra sale price stuff off. Boy, that didn't make no sense. Anyways, whenever it has, you know, stuff like that going on, it's a good time to buy from them. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at, um, let's try Amazon. Amazon might be a little bit more affordable, but I've got to tell you how to navigate around stuff on Amazon. So let's type in plus size pinup. Okay. And it gives me, hey, damn it, we're family friendly here. Don't give us brawls. Anyways, <laughs> um, okay, there's a pinup style swimwear, which I have kind of have things like that. Okay, anything with this kind of keyhole necklines, popular, um, high waisted. Any bikinis that are high waisted is very retro. That's a cute little shirt. Be retro, you can wear with your skirts or um, your pants. Here is a um, cute little skirt. So let's go into this. So it goes, looks like from size extra small to 2X. And I think this, yeah, it has a size chart right here. So, as you can see, we'll say 2X. So, it says it's a U.S. 2022. It fits waist 34 to 35 inches. And the length is 31 inches. And I call bullshit on that. <laughs> this, uh, no, a size 20 to 22 have a, about a 40 inch waist. 40 to 42 inch waist. So, see, this one is running smaller. And also go off the reviews on Amazon and see what people are saying about it. They could tell you, like, if the material sucks or if it's, you know, the right size or their stretch. So, also, let's go back up here. Sometimes they will, and sometimes they won't. Okay, here we go. This gives you what exactly is in the fabric. Oh, well, not her, but. So it says it's cotton and polyester with an elastic waist. So it probably wouldn't have no stretch other than elastic waist. So definitely whenever you're looking up things like that. You definitely want to look at that size chart on them. That's another cute top right here. Because a lot of these things in Amazon are coming from China. So that's why you really want to take a look at their size charts. For instance, let's just go into this one here. Already it's not a good look because it's got lower stars. Um... No size chart. Let's see if we see anything about it. This one does say it is um, cotton and spandex, so it should have some stretch to it. Okay, it says there are five sizes. UK 14 to 22, so these are different sizing than... Um, American sizing or U.S. 
and here's the size chart so definitely like I said look at all that before you just jump in buying this lady said it really looked bad the material was not what she expected and then this one down here said she loved it so definitely go with um, one that has more ratings of that too that way you could see what the majority of people think about an item there's a wiggle dress I actually have this cardigan here and I love it um, it has a good rating this one is very true to size I got the 3x and it it fits me really good um, really good cardigan but now I want to type in something else just so we could see I want to type in a line dress oops if I could spell so I want to try to show you that you don't have to necessarily go for a pinup dress this would here be a good example of this um, silhouette so the a-line silhouette is basically what you think it is it starts off with the a right here so that's your a so that's what you look for when you look for what I call swing dresses or you look for an a-line dress so that one would be a good pinup dress plus the design of it was good um, this one would be pretty good for it looks kind of fancy to me here's a good one this one I actually like the style of it I like the three quarter inch sleeves I like that it has the v-neck it's stitched at the waist and it has the good a-line skirt to it don't want me all there <laughs> let's see if we can find anything else sometimes you just um, you just gotta kind of look through stuff and just kind of find stuff if you go to like a unique vintage you kind of see what the styles look like then you can kind of just go into these regular clothing it kind of finds stuff that fits that style here's another good one we have a nice V of course it is short sleeve but that's okay but it has a really nice a light skirt to it and it stitches at the waist is it just me or is there a giant hole in the boob of that one uh, anyways that got me sidetracked <laughs> so yeah um let me see uh let's go back up let's try rockabilly sometimes clothing for women there we go Sometimes it'll pull up stuff if you type in rockabilly, retro, pinup, cardigans. There's a cute little blue dress. Cute little red polka dot. Petticoats. So it looks like we're having more luck in rockabilly. Cat eye glasses. Oh, we just lost it. There's, they don't really go. Like I said, yeah, anything over the shoulder like that, or these halter tops that have the sweetheart or the V neckline is good. Oh, and these, uh, damn it, I keep on turning on the camera. Okay, anything capris are really good, like a, um, not loose capris, you, you want them for fitting, so like jeans or just the regular um, material there. Uh, these 
I don't know what they call it, peplum tops. I think that's kind of a peplum top. Those are very popular too. You could wear them with either a pencil skirt. Oops, I forgot I had that on. Or you could wear the peplum tops with these pants. So, I think I just clicked it to help you out if I did. You don't necessarily have to, but it, when I try to go, you know, like totally vintage, I make sure I don't wear pants that look like this, that are all tore up looking. Even the colors, um, I don't go with a, like a light colored jean like this. I go with a dark, like navy, blue. There's a good shirt there. And as you can see, the colors are, um, stripes polka dots <laughs> those are really popular for pinup and rockabilly there's some more of those capri pants here's a cute little keyhole sh shirt there so yeah, amazon does there's you a wiggle dress but um Amazon does give you quite a few options. Like I said, I would just sit there and I would look at the sizing. Make sure you look at that size chart. And if you are the larger side, try to get stuff with stretch. That's going to be your best bet to get into this stuff. But if you're smaller than me, like a, if you're smaller, I would say the size 22 in the U.S., You'll be perfect. You'll be fine. You'll be able to, you know, find these dresses, be able to fit you. Yeah, there are a lot of options on Amazon. So now let's try Shein. I noticed um, here the last few times I've looked, Shein is doing now a retro kind of style. So let's go into the car of a plus. If it'll load. My internet's been kind of coming and going today. I don't know if they're out working on it or what. Oh. Coupon codes. Okay, let's just type in dress or push dress if it'll do it. There it goes, finally. Take that off. So you go right here, up this bar that I'm moving. Y'all see that? Um, it gives you different kind of styles of dresses. They do have polka dot, leopard. Leopard, it once again, is another very popular dress for us rockabilly gals. I'm going to go with the fit and flare. So typically that means A-line style. So... I said, um, I think this is kind of what here looks like it. So this is a tube dress. I don't know how much it flares out, but it does have the gathered waist. It does have a nice, you know, a V up here. And it looks like it has a decent amount of stuff right there. So on Shein. So I would have push 4XL. So I push 4XL and it gives me the bust is at 46, the waist is at 40, the hips are 75, and right there, right off the bat, with it saying the hips are 75, that means it is going to be a full skirt. So it's going to be, oh, sorry, it's going to be a really nice, um, I didn't want to say length, um, it's going to be a very round skirt, a very round bottom because there's so much material, or at least that's what it's saying. And the length is 39 inches, so that'd probably be hidden. At least for me, it'd be hit right above my knee. So we're going to go right here in the description, and we're going to see that it says fabric. There is slight stretch, and it gives you what is in it. I take that off and that was in the description 
So now let's go to the uh, uh, ratings. So you can see that a lot of people says that this is true to size. And there's about 8% that are saying it's large. So it's larger than true to size. But what's great about Shein is a lot of women... Well, other than the ones that tend to give the bird in the pictures, um, they will, you know, show you what the dress looks like, show you what the dress looks like on them, so you can see it with different body types. And that's how I kind of judge things. Thank goodness, you know, larger gals will post on here their photos. And you can kind of see what it's going to look like on somebody with your body type. So, yeah, now my phone's not want to work. Yeah, I said I would be okay. I just got done doing the, uh, what's it called? A needle darbing, micro needle darbing. Anyways, I got one of those little needle roller balls and I just did my face. And so my face is like red as could be. They'll look too pretty. So, here's another one of those same style we just looked at. Um, here's another one. Be a good one. But yeah, anything with these silhouettes I'm showing you would be really good to use for pinup. There's a black one in that same style. Oh, here we go. We got one right here. A Gingo print one. That's in that rockabilly. So, let's say you, you found this and you liked it. So, we're going to click on the 4X. We're going to see that it says its bust is um, 50. The waist is 45. The length is 37. We're going to say that's good. Then we're going to click in the description and see it does not have stretch. It's 100% polyester. But, of course, well, it's only one person reviewed it so far and it says it's true to size. You can't translate because there's some... It says it's quite thin but not see-through, so the fabric. But if you go on down... It'll say you may also like. And it'll give you other options in a kind of sta same style of dress. So as you can see, they have a whole like retro rockabilly line going on now. So all of these would be really good dresses. Really cute dresses, as a matter of fact. Yeah, these are all good. So, yeah, Shein is starting to um, get more of the rockabilly pinup style, retro style. So, let me see. Is there any others I could think of? I'm just going by places I shop off from. Let's try Torrid. I used to shop off Torrid quite a bit. Where the hell is the Tord website? <laughs> did I pass it? Oh, I did. Duh. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, instead of trying to search their stuff, I'm going to type in retro. See what they pull up. Okay, I like the cardigan already. Check out the... Anyways. Oh, it's on sale. I wish it was cheaper, though. So, yeah, they're giving you A-line dresses. But as you can see, there's a nice, cute, polka-dotted one. I like about Tord, too, is they actually put, you know, real plus-size women. Instead of, you know, women, they're called plus-size, but they're not really. <laughs> um, but their prices are high on Tord. So... That's the only thing. You try to shop for your sales, but even the sales sometimes are still oh, are still pretty high. So anyways, Torrid is another good place to find, you know, retro-y, retro kind of stuff for plus size. 
But anyways, uh, let, let's see if there's... I can't really think of nothing else offhand. Oh, let's try um, Rainbow. Rainbow Shops. There we go. Let's try Rainbow real quick. All plus size clothing. See, I like jeans like this would be perfect. Um, let me see. And it depends on um, what type of, type of pinup you're wanting to do as to what you kind of dress. There's like um, kind of sailor pinups. They wear a lot of, you know, uh, nautical kind of uh, stripes, you know, like red and white stripes, navy and white stripes. Uh, the little shorts, little high-waisted shorts, uh, stuff like that. That you kind of have like this country theme. Kind of a, you know, like a country western type theme of pinup where they do a lot of giggle print and um, red, yellow kind of colors, pink colors, light blue. Um, you have the tiki pinup, so it'd be a tropical theme, um, tropical patterns, prints, and you even have one, I ain't really see it at the yet, um, garage wear, kind of garage theme. These would be really good right here. They're high-waisted, button-up. They're the dark navy color that I like wearing my jeans in. Those would be really, really good. I don't know what exactly they are. Well, if they're a legging or a jean. Okay, it's a knit legging. Oh, well, it would still work. But definitely you can find jeans like that. This would be good for the nautical um, pinup or the western pinup. Or the any, any of the pinups, you know, the pair of jeans like that would work good. Oops, I knew I was going to do that eventually. Uh, let's see. I haven't really found many things on Rainbow. You know, they kind of fit the retro pinup theme too much, at least for me. Like, tank tops would be good for um, just basic, oops, just basic rockabilly kind of styles. Any tank top would work. Uh, I haven't looked on here in a while, so I don't know what's on here. I know they their clothes change quite a, a lot. It's gonna load. <laughs> Bell bottoms look like they're coming back in. <laughs> so if you're into the seventies bell bottoms. This would be a cute little outfit. Yeah, tube jumper. That would be um kind of think of Grease, you know, the movie Grease. Sandy wears that stuff, put a cool like a stretch belt on it, and then a jacket. Yeah, that would be cute. A lot of tie-dyed stuff. These would be pretty good for, um, like, the nautical theme. If you're doing that. Because typically the nautical, what you do, 
the nautical pinup. The colors are patriotic. They're red, white, and blue. So. Like these shorts, for instance. Oh, there I go again. These shorts, for instance, would be good for like, um, like the country western theme or just anything because it is a high waisted pant. A short, not pants. Looks like you can find a lot of um, pants here at least. Not a lot, but some that you can wear. This would be really good for just rockabilly wear. I would pair that with a, um, I would say, red stretch belt, red heels. Or you could pair it with any color, really. I just say red because I like red. Hopefully this video ain't going to be too wonky because I've never really recorded. Okay, here's a good one. This will be good. Um, it gives you that ruffle. Like I said, I love a ruffle off the shoulder top. You can wear this with your pants or with a skirt. Tuck it in for, with a skirt or with your shorts. That Yeah, that's really cute. So as you can see, this is what I usually do typically because I, there's another, this body, this body suit here would be good. It also, if you're going to wear skirts, body suits are your best friend if you get them to fit you. A lot of times my torso is too long, I can't get them to fit, but if they fit, those are perfect for skirts because then you don't have to worry about them riding up and try to retuck and all that, so... But yeah, this is what I do. I just search websites like crazy and just look for the certain styles. You know, they may not be actually labeled as retro or um, I would even do those leather pants there with like a black shirt. But they may, they may not be labeled as pinup or retro or anything, but you just kind of need to know what style you're really kind of looking for. And just kind of put it all together. That, Like I said, that's how I've done it over the years. Because there was a, you know, several years back, they just didn't have, like, dresses and stuff in my size. So I would just have to try to just search through all the A-line dresses and just find dresses that kind of fit the criteria. That basically was, uh, the scarf was big enough for a petticoat underneath it. And so that's what I did. And I just um, made it retro by... Putting, you know, the accessories and stuff with it. I got sidetracked there for a second. I don't know what I... I thought I seen something, but I didn't see it. But anyways, I hope you kind of enjoyed this look at, um... You know, um... Try to shop for pinup stuff plus size. And, you know, knowing and see what kind of styles to really kind of look out for and... So I hope this helped you if you have been wondering, you know, where I look and how I do it and everything. So anyways, I want to end this video. I hope y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching me and thank you for subscribing to me. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye.